Good morning, good morning, the four people in the world that are on the chat right now. Oh, there's five. Woo! Ivy has just joined. <clears throat> so we are ready to uh, start off the weekend, and hopefully Bryce hasn't shit the bed and has given us a good set for us all to get excited about. Uh, it looks like we got uh, Mr. Herman in the set. We got Jason in the set. We've got Ivy, his better half. I mean, much better half. Not just a little bit, but a lot. <laughs> uh, who else do we have? Um, that's it. <laughs> I've named everybody in the chat. That means there's a couple people that are hiding in the back. Not saying anything. We got Adrian, Adrian. Um, so, uh, speaking of Adrian, I was just wondering, um, you mentioned that you got a new job. Have you started that new role? And if you have, how's it going? Uh, usually new roles can be, uh, tough because typically new roles are something that you're not very versed in. It takes a little bit to get used to it. Try to figure out what your day to day is going to be like. So, uh, interested, uh, how that's going. Um, on that same note. I also wanted to tell the chat, uh, all six of you now, because there's only six people in the chat, that uh, yours truly, yours truly, Mr. Morgan, Captain Captains himself, has also got a new job. Um, I did not think that I was going to get it, and it was kind of like a last minute thing. The nice thing is, is it's also a promotion. Uh, so I got a promotion from one level to the next, which should come with a pay increase. And it's a completely remote job, so I get to work from home uh, all the time, which is nice. Uh, but I am also um, happy, nervous, because the job, at least that I've been told that I will be doing, <clears throat> is kind of a big task. And so that big task uh, gets me, I think I could do it, I think I'll, I'll do okay. But adjusting to like making sure I'm doing what I need to do at work from home and stuff like that, I don't think it's going to be an issue for me because I'm very, very programmed type of person. But nonetheless, I've never worked from home full time. So I do think you have to be very conscious about uh, not letting yourself get distracted and stay on task and do your work. Uh, and just there's a lot of work to do for this position. So I don't start this position, I don't think, for another couple of weeks. They haven't even given me the actual offer. They told me the offer's coming. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see how much of a pay increase it's going to be. I hope it's more than I expect. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think the two things that are really nice is that my level went up. But two, uh, I don't have to drive 40 minutes one way to work anymore starting in a month or so. So I'm just totally pumped about that. That's going to be huge. So thank you all for the congratulations. Uh, but again, I'm still waiting for uh, Adrian. Wait, he, he started two weeks ago, upper management, mm -hmm. tons of meetings. See, that's what I don't want. That's the thing that I don't want is like, I'm afraid that I'm going to be just in meetings all day long. And I do not want to do that. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, the, just meeting after meeting after meeting. I just want to be left alone and do projects. That would be kind of my hope, but we'll have to see what happens on my side too there, Adrian. So I hope they, uh, you know, managing, we always say managing is managing people. So Adrian, I hope you're good at managing people, but it sounds like you, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, Jason, no, that does not mean longer streams, dude. <laughs> uh, I still would like to keep the, uh, you know, that we have. Um, anyway, I just want to say that, uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. Oh, uh, yes, the, uh, set, I think it was Ivanator set got, it just had, like, at first it went through and said, like, uh, demonetized, blah, 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 copyright, copyright, okay. And then without them sending me a note or anything like that, I was just, I think a couple days after the set. I was flipping through and went through my content and all of a sudden I see blocked and I'm like, that's great. They didn't even tell me, but two days later, stupid, I think it's a SME, uh, came around and, and blocked it. So the whole, I think it was like three songs got blocked. So I had to dispute them all. Um, I did dispute them and I think it's back up at least for now until they come back and say, no, we're still going to block it like idiots. So, um, yeah, <clears throat> 
uh, please go check to see if you guys can see that set because I don't know. And it's only got like 80 views or something like that because it got freaking uh, blocked. So that's unfortunate. Uh, hopefully it's back up at some point and five more people can watch it. Because usually what happens here is I don't know why, but it kind of takes away the steam when it gets blocked. It's almost because then people can't see it. And I don't think when it gets unblocked that it pops up. I think it's like less likely to pop up in the people's like search. Uh, because I've noticed with videos that get blocked and then I dispute them and they get unblocked. They all have like under 100 views. And it's been like even like six, seven months later, they're under 100 views. So something's happening where they're not getting like pushed to people to watch, which I think is total horseshit. Um, and stupid so yeah i happened to see doug doug's thing popped up and he was bitching about some sort of thing that happened so i i have a feeling like it's getting worse and worse for all content creators across again i don't consider myself a content creator i consider myself a reactor which i think is different i don't create anything what the hell do i create i just talk about music and have a good time with you guys uh but people who actually do content creation stuff and spend a lot of time on this uh, it's just total horseshit that YouTube, I, I, it's almost, it almost feels like YouTube's doing everything in their power to push people off their platform. <laughs> I mean, they're absolutely stupid with everything from like, if you don't use pronouns or something like that to, I mean, people were bitching so much across the board over and over again about how YouTube's policies are just making things worse. So I have a feeling, and I said this, what, six months ago, uh, another definitely 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 another platform is going to come to replace you tick because it's just dumb uh it's it's asking people to leave um so anyway i'm not creating a show i'm uh reacting to music and talking to people i don't think that that's really creative um creative to me is you actually take something and and push it forward i'm not really pushing anything forward all right so let's get into this uh yes colin i did get your email um well, Jason, they can avoid being sued, but uh, it's just dumb because uh, you're going to kick people off your platform. So what, pick your poison. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get into this set. I have no idea. Bryce, I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, looking at your email, uh, you have six songs on here. And the last uh, set you turned in was fucking like 50 minutes of music. Uh, I've already talked for 10 of it. If you have another long set, I'm going to have to lay the freaking uh, law down because uh, you're, you're going to officially become the new Manuel Romero uh, if this set is long. Hopefully these songs are only five minutes, and even at that, five times six is 30 minutes of music. So uh, we'll have to see. You don't have uh, how long they are next to it, so we'll just have to find out. Doesn't say much, so that's good. He says, Alrighty, another dice roll incoming. Throwing it into the air... Hit by the ceiling fan, <laughs> shoots out the window and kills the neighbor's cat. Wow. You're going to get sued. Anyway, the roll was a 10. Cool. All right. So this is set number 10 on the die. How many sets have you done? I think, what, five? I think there's been five uh, rolling of the dice. Is that correct? Uh, this set is an olive branch to the metal lovers. Oh, so look at Bryce. Bryce is like, here you go, Mr. Metal lovers, Mrs. Metal lovers. Not that I don't love my fair share of metal. All the songs on here are from one of my favorite bands called Intronaut. Kind of grungy, kind of jazzy. Enjoy. So every song we're listening today to all six songs is from a band called Intronaut. Has anybody else heard of this band? Especially you metal people. Uh, I know Scott K is not in the chat, right? But I'm sure Scott K would, uh, you know, probably like this and maybe... Uh, Ryan would too. But anyway, if you've heard of Intronaut before this, please put it in the chat. If not, we're all going to be learning a new band. So here we go. The first song is called Killing Birds with Stones. Okay, two birds with stones. Here we go. I've never heard of this band. Okay. Yeah, shut up. Okay. Ooh. 
Sounds good so far. Ooh, I like the drive, kind of offbeat, syncopated. Mm. Turn it up a little bit. I'm saying that the intro is good so far. Let's see what happens next. What? That was not a smooth transition. I'll say that. Look at that dissonance. I get the grunge. I like the drum, like, uh, 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 uh. I like the music, the instrumental part of it, but I'm kind of not getting on board with the singing yet. I don't like the grunge, like, we can't understand a thing you're saying. Yeah, Michael, this drummer is good. Drummer is definitely good. <laughs> that was a smooth transition. That first transition was not. very foolish. Just like keep repeating this droning kind of riff. Dude, they really like this like uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Nice. That was great. Trying to move up. Let's get it a little higher. I like how you dance, dance, dance in the right ear. I can hear it just in the right ear. Blow my nose. I'm impressed with the instruments for sure. So cool right here. Engineering's not as good as tool, but it's, this is very toolish in this section. Yeah, that drum, even that <laughs> very Danny Carey ish. Yeah, that's it. prefer this band as an instrumental band. I think I would. Okay. I thought that could be a good ending point of the song. I think it is the end. Maybe not. That should be the end of the song. <clears throat> yeah. 
come on. That should have been the end of the song. Come on. Bryce. This is a 10 minute song to start off with. That was a perfect breaking point. They should have let it stop right there. Yeah, the bass player and the drummer are absolutely murdering this song, but I think the drummer is definitely the most strong part of this band so far. But when it's just instruments, it's totally cool. When they sing, okay, the thingy here's not bad. But the grungy <laughs> makes it a whole different style. Similar to Tool. Oh, Jason, Ivy, I want to ask you some questions then. That, that's a very interesting job in my opinion. You have to be calm as fuck. We'll talk about de-escalating people. Kind of a cool effect. It? Yes, it is. Okay, so a couple of things about that. <clears throat> definitely, definitely enjoy the music. Uh, I think the instruments are good. Very cool in vain. Uh, not quite as engineered like Tool, which makes Tool a little bit, you know more uh energetic when i listen to them um drummer is fantastic uh in the ending when that first ending came should have ended the song there i don't think that extra two or three minutes was necessary at all uh but this this to me this is a prime prime example of why i've talked about Number one, it, <clears throat> having a good singer is the most difficult part of a band. Even, and I'm not even talking technically, there are a lot of good technical singers out there. But even if you're technically good, your tone and the way that you like fit with the type of music that the band is putting forth is just so difficult to match. And I just think this guy, when he did the uh, kind of that, like, melodic kind of stuff not bad i was like not bad when he does the bleh, bleh, like no stop like that could ruin the song it, 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 it made that song go from here to here immediately because it just to me doesn't fit and it just doesn't add anything it takes away from the song so this is just another perfect example of how important it is to find a singer that matches, which I really think, and I'm not joking about this, I'll probably get flamed for saying this, but if Metallica did not have James Hetfield, I don't think they'd be nearly, nearly as popular as they are. I think his voice is very unique, good, and fits exactly what they're trying to accomplish, and just, it adds so much to the music. Uh, and I always remember saying, man, I just wish Dream Theater had a James Hetfield. Obviously not specifically James Hetfield because I don't think James Hetfield would fit Dream Theater music, nor could he write that good. But something to the same vein. Someone who fits Metallica like James Hetfield does fits Dream Theater like that. 
uh, because it just would soar. It'd make the band soar. Uh, so Metallica would be half, I would say half as popular because the music's still good, but his voice is so iconic and matches exactly what they're producing. So this band, um, yeah, the, the instruments are fantastic. Very Tool-like until the singing comes in and then, then that adds the grunge aspect that you said. Should have ended earlier than it did, but I like pieces of what this band is putting out. Uh, so we'll see how this continues. What I do want to know, which is what is a difficulty for most bands as well, is are they a one-hit wonder? Is this going to be Tori Amos again, but it's just a different band? And what I mean by that is when we did the Tori Amos uh, album review... It was like, okay, here's this song, and this is what it sounds like, and then I just felt like it was the same song on repeat for the whole fucking album. Like, you could have just been like, boop, and jumped in at another part of another song and been like in the same era. So, is this band, the rest of these songs, gonna sound exactly like this, or do they have, like, flavor where slower, faster, heavier? We'll, we'll have to see. So that's what I'm interested in with this band. So the next song is called uh, Sore Sight for Eyes. He says live performance video. Okay, let's hope this doesn't get blocked. How popular is this band? Um, is this band so popular this is going to get blocked? I hope not. So should I push start recording? <clears throat> uh, we'll find, okay. Anyway, this is Sight for Sore Eyes. I'll be interested to see these guys play. Okay, more grungy intro. This kind of guitar grunginess that they add to it sets them apart from tools. Otherwise, it would be very, very toolish. Yeah, look at that low B. Yeah, for sure, I think the band realizes that the vocals are shit, comparatively. Drummers got nice, nice beat here. Feeny joins with a great introduction. That's got a nice uh, tattoo sleeve. Okay, when it's things like this, it's not bad. Yeah, I, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's way better than the... Yeah, see, when, again, I'm gonna see, just like the last song. Oh, I love how the bass has got like that head nod that's like with the syncopation beat. Okay. 
I don't say it's good. It's not good. But when he sings like this, it's way better than when he does the grunge effect. Nice, nice kill there. I think I'm gonna have to do that too, Colin. Two one, I agree. That was very cool right there. I could totally see these guys being like an opening band for cool. What's up, Cucumber? Like that. Yeah, I'm telling you, when he does the whole, I don't like it. Oh, is that it? Yeah, actually, like a five-minute song. Woohoo! All right, that ended abruptly when I wasn't gonna expect it to end. Unlike the last song that kept going when I thought it was ended. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's kind of hard. Uh, I would say, yeah, I agree with Adrian that this was more straight down the alley than the other, the last song, but I did like the song better. Maybe it's because I could see them live. I think that's part of it. Um, but, uh, when he, again, I'm not saying it's good, but when he sings just normally, like, hey, sounds better than, hey, hey, hey. Like a fucking stuck pig. I just don't understand the grunge shit. I don't understand it. it. Does not do anything. Maybe for like a second. Get that angst out. Sure. All right. Next one's called digital gerrymandering. Interesting. Gerrymandering on a digital scale. Uh, are you talking about the game? The Sims game? Did that happen? Is that where this came from? Sim City. They started doing digital ma gerrymandering. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Number three. Yeah, Ryan, I would agree. It's kind of they're kind of similar, but I do think one was maybe a little more interesting. So I'm gonna change my pick and say one. Now that I think about it, I got influenced because of the visuals. Droning, droning. Jason, I know what gerrymandering is. It's actually a, a real estate term. <laughs> Used for political reasons. <laughs> okay. Already digging this more. Ooh, this is catchy. Oh.
dude, so far this song is definitely better. right here is just fucking sick. So far this is definitely the best song. Flavor than the last two songs. The last two songs are pretty much the same. Tori Amos effect. No, gerrymandering is exactly what I said it was. I had to study real estate. I had to take the stupid test. It's a real estate term that is used politically. Accomplish your goals. It's moving boundaries so that you can affect political and where people live, which is redlining. So redlining and gerrymandering go hand in hand together and was used in real estate and boundary making so that they could do political shit that they wanted to do. Had to memorize that. Yeah, just in by itself, it just it's, it's a political thing that they use, but it started as a real estate control, which ultimately leads to where people live, which ultimately means political influence. Dude, this part is sick. I'm definitely, depending on how long it is, is it like a 15 minute song, dude? It doesn't apply to the song, Michael. It applies to what Jason was saying. Yeah, exactly, Jason. That's what I'm talking about. It's a real estate situation used politically for political motivation. How did it get quiet all of a sudden? Like, it was just da 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 and now it's like, they did that on purpose? Sounds very um the hammering on hammer sounds very uh idola-ish to me. Anytime I hear these kinds of like riffs, it's very idola.
Ooh. Yeah, uh, this song is definitely the best. A little long, but definitely more color. It's very cool. Dig it. This will go on a playlist. Intro knock. Adrian changes. That's a good that's a good man. Good man, Adrian. Adrian, so since you've been stressed out, you said with meetings and just a different role, you should get a tough week. What is your go-to to uh, relieve that? Is it drinking a lot? So are you gonna drink a lot tonight? It is a little long. I hope it ends soon. We're already at 40 minutes into the set. And this is song number three. You have fucking three more to go. Uh, Bryce, I'm hoping that these songs are not all this long because that was like seven or eight minutes. <laughs> We've had one song that's like five something and the first two or the other two have been eight-ish. So uh, you're teetering there, Bryce. You're teetering. Either you're going to have to start doing like five songs <laughs> or make sure your six songs are not eight minutes each. Uh, Mr. Manuel Romero, you're a clone. Actually, maybe you are. Maybe you're Manuel Romero. Notice he's not in the chat. Did Manuel Romero go under a different name? <laughs> are Bryce and Manuel the same? Ooh, that just rhymed. Name, same. Um. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, like I said, I think that was the best song of them all so far. Still a little long, but I get it. They played a little bit, went into a different feel to the song. Like that. Um, stood out from the other two that kind of sounded very, very similar to me. So again, I'm hoping that in the next song, we continue to get some sort of difference from this band. Not one and two, just every song. This was a little bit different, which is why I liked it more. Had some uh, interesting stuff. So this is called Sul... Panticello? No way I'm saying that right. Sul, sul Panticello? I don't know. Sol, Sul. S U L. Sul Panticello, I think. Probably said that wrong. Fuck you all. Here we go. <laughs> Definitely more on the grunge side. Okay, at first, didn't like that intro. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a fucking grunge song, but I like this. Uh, Adrian, I totally wish I could be close to your house so that we could have uh, barbecues together. Because that's every time I see your pictures on Instagram, I'm just, uh, yeah, this is a great group. Let's see where they take it. This drummer is really good with tie hat work. Although I will say from that this song, from the last song, he, he seems to be doing a, what I call a Neil Peartism. Neil Peart in a lot of songs, not all of them, does the do, 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 ride cymbal thing. This guy on his hi hat does, at least in the last two songs, a lot of the same exact feel. Let's see if he goes back to it. Like how they're using some halftime. And at least there's some sort of kind of chorus. Uh, Bryce, it's cool. At this point, the one minute is not probably going to do much of a difference. 
We're at 45 minutes and we have two songs after this one. <laughs> I definitely like the feel of this. Ooh, see, there it is. Listen. Here. That. That's exactly the same kind of thing he did in the last song. And I don't even mean like, oh, he's doing something before in the hi-hat. It's like the same kind of rhythm. See this? Ah, don't, don't do that. Go. Ah, don't like that. Go back to what you were doing in the chorus and part. <laughs> oh, Colin. you man this drummer this drummer's impressing me intronaut if you're watching this somehow your drummer is don't lose him don't lose your bass player either those dudes make this band what it is that was cool Ironically, we haven't heard like a solo, which is typical of like Tool too. Tool, Tool never does solos, like guitar solos. Oh, really? Bryce, that sucks. <laughs> Intronaut, if you're watching this, go call that old drummer back. I don't care if the new one's good. This dude's fucking sick. Go call him and be like, dude, where'd you go? Dude knows how to write beats. He's not Adam Janzi, but he's good. He kind of reminds me more of like um, her side's drummer. Like very in the pocket, very like uh, rhythmical, metrical. Not as, I mean, he's creative, but not like Adam Janzi creative. Not like tool creative. Danny Carey is very creative too. Oh. Don't do this kind of singing. Go back to just the normal singing. Uh, Colin, don't forget the bass player. That dude in the background is rolling. I love the sound of his bass. This is the bass. Just... Poor guy. Probably already insecure enough about it. Like, you know, I'm not that insecure because I'm not that short, but I'm short and I just wish I was taller. I wish I was a baller. If I had a girl, I'd be taller. Uh, I don't like this as much as three, but I'm gonna call it. I like it better than one and two. It's got more vibe to it. Is Ivy one of those things, Jason, that you have to worry about being too short? Is she a midget? That you are vibrationally an infinite being. In this moment, you have everything you're supposed to have. In this moment, 
Definitely think this is like a weird outro for sure. We got into India land. Bulls and goats should take away sins. Very Old Testament like. Is that it? Okay. Oh, wrong, wrong button. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I put that song second. Um, we're already at 50 minutes, and we have two more songs left. And if it keeps going like this, uh, we're talking like average of seven or eight minutes. We got another 15 minutes. <laughs> so well, let's roll with the next one. Um, this is called Cuban, Cubensis. Cubensis? Is that how you say it? C U B E N S I S. Cubensis? I don't know. Cubensis. He says, warning official video. All right, well, let's see what happens. I think I put, because uh, I read that, I think I put a filter on it. Hopefully. Um, so this is five of six. Let's see where this, if this is the official video, I'm guessing that means it's more of their popular song. If they have a popular song, let's hear it. what it sounds like. Yeah, I didn't put it. <laughs> oh, Ryan knows the song. Okay. Okay, Bryce. I like it. What makes this song better than the other songs? For you, Bryce. Oh, they are a para. Look at that. We got our drug expert in the room. Just oh, and he's putting in his mouth. It looks like the uh, wildfire from Game of Thrones. Okay. Damn, this fucking drummer. Is this the new drummer? Oh, damn, this sounds good. And definitely the engineering's better. Nipple shot, nipple shot. Um, Bryce, I'm thankful, buddy. Just put this video on the not safe for work part of the Discord. This is definitely very psychedelic, but I'm digging it. Colin, don't act like you didn't look at the mid. Is this the new drummer? Did you say that, Bryce? Okay, this is the new drummer. Alright, just saw it. He fucking, the engineering's better. The, the, I don't know if it's a trigger, but the, the bass drums are definitely more tight. Which makes me think it's a trigger. Why not tell your wife? I tell my wife. I actually look at porn. Masturbate in front of her. Did I just say that? Reminds me of that scene from American Beauty. Well, if you're not going to do anything. TMI! TMI! Chase. <laughs> Panel's sticking down. Guy's gotta masturbate, a guy's gotta masturbate, whether it's a wife or not. It's such a horrible double standard. Yeah, this is definitely more like. Is it loud for you guys? I feel like it's not that loud. It turns up a little. I'm telling you, the invention, I think Perry Bozio should get the uh, credit for it. But the invention of the rhythmic, like, stacks, the china on the splash, and that makes that ch 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 is just gorgeous. It really added, like, a sense to the drums, the impact of the drums on the song. 
That bass player is rolling in the background. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Michael puts this as the second one. Para's got this as number two. Why do you like three and four better, Michael and Para? If this is the official video, it shouldn't be an eight minute song because usually official videos never go that long because they gotta fit within like a five I don't think they didn't do that on purpose. Ooh, smacking the ass? Oh. <laughs> I, thought they, I thought he was leaning over to get spanked. This video's going in a whole different direction. Okay, this is more interesting. Uh, Bryce, I'm gonna say, uh, I think, at, at least from this, the drummer definitely is on par with the last drummer. But they're very similar in that, like, their drum parts are, like, um, like, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference that it's a different, different drummer. His drum parts are very, very similar. Exactly, Colin. That's how I'm feeling. I'm like, I don't know if I like this more than three or four. I do like that delay. <laughs> song. Oh. Hey Scott, it appears that the uh, little box doesn't help, but that can be for certain because this is twice now that the little box has not stopped the warning from popping up. Dude, I definitely think the drum, uh, bass drums are triggered. And it sounds like a very punchy, triggered-like drum sound. 